Just imagine, what would happen if everyone on Earth pointed a laser pointer at the moon at the same time? Well, let's see the result. Looks like nothing has changed, right? A regular laser pointer gives 5 milliwatts, while the sun floods the moon with 10 petawatts of light. Our tiny beams are like a grain of sand in the Sahara Desert. Even if we all used 1 watt lasers, together they'd only add a fraction of a lux, weaker than moonlight on Earth. Alright, let's upgrade everyone to a police helicopter spotlight. The effect? A faint glow on the dark side of the moon, but still unimpressive. What if everyone used the giant projectors from the Eiffel Tower? Now it's noticeable, but compared to the sun, still just a drop in the ocean. Challenge accepted. Let's hand out megawatt military lasers. Finally, we managed to match the brightness of sunlight. And if we went further, giving every person a 500 terawatt super laser from the NIF lab, the atmosphere would instantly turn into plasma and incinerate us. But let's suppose the beams somehow pass through safely. In that case, the moon itself would start to vaporize. A stream of plasma would form, turning the moon into a giant rocket engine. Within a few months, it would leave Earth's orbit and become a rogue dwarf planet, one that would likely collide with us, or with the sun. The conclusion? With pointers, we'd see nothing. With mega lasers, we'd lose the moon, the earth, and ourselves. So subscribe, and keep lasers away from the sky.